Who exactly are my second cousins? And if someone is my third cousin, twice removed, what does that mean? Or what about that DNA test I took? I have matches, and they say that I'm second cousins and fifth cousins with people. What does that mean? So stick around, because in this episode, we'll be learning easy ways to understand cousin relationships. to jump in and learn a simple and easy way to figure out cousin relationships. You'll be amazed at how simple it is. Remember in our last episode we talked about descendants and generations. Now you're probably familiar with generations such as baby boomers, gen xers, millennials, and gen z. These generations are based on when people were born. But these are not the type of generation that we use when we determine cousin relationships. Let me introduce you to the descendants of Henry and Esther. Zach and Aubrey are in the same generation. Jordan, Julie, Zoe, Jeremy, and Zell are in the same generation. James, Anne, David, Thomas, Abby, George, and Jean are all in the same generation. Now that we understand the type of generation we're talking about, let's learn one more concept we need to know. Most recent common ancestor. Let's take Chris and Joseph. You can see that their most recent common ancestors are only two generations back, their grandparents, James and Anne. Now let's do a bit more complicated one, Joseph and April. To find their most recent common ancestor, we follow Joseph's line back to his parents and to his grandparents and to his great-grandparents and on up. Then we follow April's on up to where they meet, with Henry and Esther being their most recent common ancestor. The first step when figuring out cousin relationships is to determine the most recent common ancestor. Next, there are two methods for determining cousin relationships. The first method is the number of greats plus one. We determine the number of great-grandparents that the most recent common ancestor is, in this case, a two great-grandparent. So two greats plus one equals three. So Joseph and April are third cousins. Let's do another example using method one. Zoe and Zell. Their most recent common ancestor is their third great-grandparent, so three plus one equals four. So Zoe and Zell are fourth cousins. One more example for method one, Chris and Joseph. Their most recent common ancestor is their grandparent, James and Anne. So zero greats plus one equals one. They're first cousins. Now let's go through the same examples, but using method two, the number of generations between. Notice that we do not include the generation of the cousins and their most recent common ancestor, but just the generations between. All of our previous examples involve cousins who are in the same generation on our tree. Now let's do one where they're not in the same generation. Zach and April are not in the same generation. Their common ancestor is Henry and Esther. So we start with April because she's closer to Henry and Esther. And we figure out what cousin relationship she would have to those in her same generation. Using method one of number of greats of the most recent common ancestor plus one, 
we find that April would be third cousins with those in her same generation. Zach is two generations away from April. So he is twice removed from April. So they are third cousins twice removed. Let's take another example of Zoe and Thomas. Let's figure out the cousin relationship of Thomas's generation. Zero plus one equals one, so they're first cousins. And Zoe is three generations removed from Thomas. So they are first cousins three times removed. So how does all this help us with those DNA cousins? Well, subtract one. This tells you at what great grandparent level you're likely to share a common ancestor. Let's do one example of a fourth cousin DNA match. This is you. For this example, we'll give you some made up ancestors. Using our two methods, we subtract one to get three great or four generations between. You likely share an ancestor at this level of your family tree. Way to go! You now have the Cousin Relationship Superpower, and you can amaze all of your friends. Come back next time to learn more.